Hey guys, today I'm looking at a custom ROM. It's a Cyanogen 10.1 themed with an Xperia style uh, by Aminix. So let's get into it. Okay, so like I said, this is Cyanogen mod and it is using an Xperia theme as well as all the Xperia apps that you'd find on a, uh, a Sony device. So let's have a look at the core Cyanogen Mod 10.1 and Android 4.2.1. Do not forget that this is for the GTN 7000 the international version so do not put this on if you are on AT&T. Before I get into the ROM review Develop options is an, an option most of us want to look at, but it's hidden in the new 4.2.1. So if you hit it, uh, if you go down to sorry about phone and go right down to the build number, if you hit it seven times, as you can see, it says you don't need to. I've already done it. Develop options are enabled. If you hit it seven times, it will allow you to have an option for developer options. So let's get into it. Okay, so smoothness. It's very smooth. As you can see, the transitions between home screens are very nice. I've got two, and I'll go to this next one. There's three widgets on that page, and it's a little bit hesitant. Um, but generally, it's pretty good. It's a lot smoother than Samsung-based ROMs. And I, that's essentially because the services and then... Oh, there's me. Woohoo! So... It's a lot smoother than Samsung based ROMs because there's not the services and apps running in the background that are normally there with those ROMs. So this is a clean Cyanogen mod with a couple of themed icons and the apps that Xperia has and I'll go and show you those soon. Uh, the good thing about this Cyanogen mod is the profiles. You can have two profiles, one running your system, uh, sort of like user login. So certain apps and services you could uh, not allow for one of those profiles, which is a cool little feature there. Uh, we have the normal Sonogen Mod menu, and I'm sure if you've used that before, it's the same. Let's have a look at the apps. So that's the only thing setting this apart from normal Sonogen Mod Xperia widgets, like the weather one I'm showing you now. We also have, let's have a look at this one, we've got the movies, We have the album. There's also the um, another gallery in there that we can use if you don't like this version. And we have Walkman. Other than gallery or the album, uh, the music is probably the second most app that I would use on this ROM. It's um, very easy to navigate. You've got the fast forward option and you can also select a different song by flicking across the cover art which I'll show you fast forward there and you can flick across the cover art to show you the next song. Now the main reason why you'd probably want to install this custom ROM is because multitasking is very quick. There are quite a few apps I have running in the background and I'm able to switch between those very very efficiently and second would be Sony's apps. If you use those a lot, then this is the wrong for you.